Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 3 of the Create Astral mod pack. In the previous episode we went ahead and got started on some basic automation with the Create mod. Uh, so we got our mixer set up here, our mechanical press, as well as a automatic andesite generator. Now I did actually AFK a little bit uh, while I was editing the previous episode and we did manage to get 27 andesite. It is a little bit slow. Supposedly it's 1 in 6, but um, it seems a lot lower than that. But it's still a really good passive way of generating andesite. So what I want to do in today's episode is to actually get started on a little bit more of the Tinker's mod and actually getting into chapter two. So what I want to do first is quickly make some grout and actually complete this quest. We pretty much gathered everything that we need for that. I just got to find all my stuff. I did reorganize some of my chests, so uh, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge trying to find everything. And we are definitely running low on the andesite compound uh, materials. Um, it looks like actually we just need andesite, which fortunately we have an automatic way of getting it, but still we are running pretty low on some of these materials. So in order to make grout, all we need to do is put uh, four andesite and four zinc in a mixer as well as uh, 32 gravel. That'll actually craft up all the gravel that we need for, or all the grout that we need for this quest. And oh, we get a sniffer egg. Interesting. As well as a bunch of other components. So it looks like now we have chapter, is this, oh, chapter two unlocked. And this chapter is absolutely enormous. Um, I don't even know where to start. I guess with this uh, lava bucket here, th uh, things heat up. This is only the beginning. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of text, so I'm going to read that really quick and then we'll come back. So it seems like this chapter is all about early game automation. Um, I will read the last paragraph here for you guys. Um, Overcome the revolution of industry and the moon will welcome you to explore its wonders. So I believe, yeah, that means that a lot of the early game automation stuff is going to be inside this chapter. Looks like we have the copper casings and the fluid stuff here. Obviously the Tinker's Construct stuff, which is probably what we're going to get started with. And we even have the uh, mechanical arms, which I, ha I haven't actually had a chance to, uh, to uh, play around with those yet. So that'll be pretty interesting. So the very first task here, um, we're actually going to need 32 seared brick, which fortunately we just got some uh, grout. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and put that in a furnace. Uh, we could actually use the um, smelting from create to actually do this, but I actually haven't set that up yet. So I think this will do for now. And I kind of want to see what this uh, sniffer egg does. I don't know if it's going to spawn it or if it's going to be like something you hatch like turtle eggs. Um, I think that'll be a good place to put it. Yeah, so I guess it's like a turtle egg. Next time we come back here, we uh, we might have a sniffer. So it looks like all of our seared bricks went ahead and smelted up. And we should be able to uh, see this now. Okay, we might have that bug. Let me go ahead and put this in a chest and pull it back out. Uh, no. Oops, I, uh, I forgot to do the task before that. So there we go. Now we should get the rewards from that. So that actually unlocked the book called uh, Puny Smelting, and this will actually show us how to make our first uh, mini uh, smelter. I think it's called a melter now, I guess. <laughs> um, so this is just a little guy. It'll help us uh, melt down a lot of our early game ores. Um, we can't alloy in it yet, but it will actually allow us to make some uh, metal tools. So what we're going to need for this is the seared melter, as well as, 
I believe it's the seared heater. And we'll probably also need a casting table as well as a seared faucet. The seared heater isn't too bad, it's just eight seared bricks. But the melter is gonna be a little bit more complicated. We're actually gonna need to make our first fluid tank. Now this recipe really isn't too bad, it's just four copper sheets and a barrel. Copper sheets really aren't too bad to make, they just are uh, copper ingots under a mechanical press. So we should be able to craft it just like that. And then we should be able to make our melter. Oh, we actually need the full bricks, um, which is actually an additional step. I kind of forgot about this. Um, what we're going to need is sap from Tech Reborn. Now, in your world, you're going to find certain trees with sap on them. I believe, nope, that's a spruce tree. I do know where one is, though, so I should go and find that really quick. Here we go. There's a couple of them here. And you'll actually notice that they have the little uh, dripple. Uh, I don't, I don't know what it's called. Uh, the sap coming out of the log. So what we're actually going to do is uh, make a tap. I believe it's called a tree tap. It shouldn't be too bad. So we can actually use the tree tap and right-click the log, and we will get some sap. Now, I don't think that the sap actually regrows on these trees, um, but we, uh, what we can do later is set up a sort of basket underneath it and it'll automatically collect it. So just to make the melter for now, we're going to use four sap. And um, I believe it was 16 bricks. That should be everything that we need. We'll probably need to craft some more for other pieces. Oh, for some reason it made rubber. And let me try that by placing the bricks in first. The uh, mixer recipes are always a little bit weird. Um, if there's a recipe that requires one thing, here we go. Um, it'll actually make that thing if you put those items in first. So yeah, just be aware of that. So with that, we can now craft our seared melter. I'm also going to go ahead and uh, craft the casting table and the seared faucet, which we can't actually get quite yet. Here we go. So that should be everything that we need to actually make our first melter. So what we're gonna do, I think I wanna place it here. Um, we might move this later on. Um, so we want the heater on the bottom, melter on top, and then I believe we can put it on the side. I shouldn't... Uh, shouldn't affect it too much. So if we go ahead and open up the interface, we actually have three slots here. So this melter can only melt down three items at a time. As we get further into this mod, we should be able to make a bigger smelter that can smelt a ton of items at the same time. So here's that quest complete, and it looks like we actually get something called Firebrand. That's pretty cool. And there's that, as well as that. And, oh, I do actually need to craft a basin as well. And it's crafted just like that. And I think for now, I'm just going to place it to the side. Uh, we can just put it over here when we need it. Uh, but we should only need the table for now. And I would actually like to make the anvil from this mod first. Um, as it'll actually allow us to create bigger and better tools. Um, this recipe is a bit expensive. It is three blocks of, I think it's any type of metal. Uh, so yeah, it shouldn't be too bad, but um, that's definitely where the uh, casting basin comes in. So for this anvil, we do actually need some sort of alloyed metal in order to actually craft it. Um, fortunately, we do have a pretty easy recipe that we can use. Uh, we can go ahead and combine copper and tin, and we don't actually need any heating for it. And that'll go ahead and make us some bronze. And actually, we don't even need to mix it uh, because we can actually just go ahead and put it in the smithing table, which is actually a recipe I kind of forgot about. So that's even easier than it was before.
All right, so I do have everything that I need now in order to make the anvil, um, but I do need one more thing, and that's going to be the tinker station. So here we go, and we do have to put that in manually. And nice, we got the tinker's anvil, and I'm actually going to put it over here. So, as you can see on the left-hand side, we can actually make bigger and better tools, uh, such as the hammer. Um, these are going to require a lot more resources uh, for each one, but um, honestly, it's going to be totally worth it, especially for the hammer. And we can also get the lumber axe. Now, the lumber axe is what it used to be called. By the way, control and O uh, puts that menu away. Um, I guess, yeah, the broad axe is what it's called now. It can basically chop down an entire tree. That's going to be pretty useful, especially here early on. So I'm actually going to craft a few pieces here. I'm going to make a large plate. And actually, I need two of these, as well as the hammer head. And I believe it's going to be a tough uh, tool rod. And we don't actually need to cast for these uh, bigger tools. Um, what we can do is just use the Tinker's Anvil and go ahead and place the different pieces in there, just like that. So now we actually have, <laughs> that animation is awesome. Uh, we have our first hammer. Now it's gonna be pretty slow to start off with. Um, actually, let me go ch uh, test this in the mine. Yeah, this is, Yeah, that's slow, but it is the first step in doing some larger mining projects. So if you go ahead and hold shift over one of your Tinker's tools, you can actually see the different types of uh, stats on that tool. Uh, so we have a good bit of durability, but it's really the mining speed that we're after right now. Um, currently, we have a 0.42 mining speed, which is super, super low. Uh, just to compare our regular... Uh, pickaxe here is a mining speed of four, almost eight times as fast. By the way, we accidentally made rubber earlier, so I just went ahead and um, collected the rewards from that. But looking at the tools here now, and it does actually want us to make some bronze stuff. Now this is going to take a lot longer than... Uh, oops, I don't know what that menu is for. Um, it's going to take us a little bit longer to make, but look at that mining speed. It's 5.5. That's going to be a huge boost. Um, but it does take bronze, which uh, is kind of lame because we're going to have to use bronze repair kits or put bronze ingots in here in order to actually repair it. But I don't think that's going to be too big of a deal. So I do think I want to go ahead and start crafting that up. So when we put items in here, you'll notice that there is a fuel slot on the right side. And we can just go ahead and drop some coal in there. And the bronze that we put in here is going to start smelting. Just like that, we get molten bronze. So what we can do from here, and I did actually mess up. I should have used gold here. Uh, if you're following along with me, don't put uh, bronze in here yet. Uh, what we want to do first is put gold. So what I'm going to have to do with this bronze is probably cast it into the basin here and probably gonna have to get um, yeah nine in total so yeah I'm gonna fix that error really quick all right so now that that's fixed uh, what we want to do is go ahead and put some gold in here and actually I'm only gonna do one for now I believe this first cast will only require one and what we want to do is put our ingot casts here sorry what we want to do is put an ingot here uh, we can use the uh, casts here, um, but honestly, it's just one uh, one extra step. And it will actually consume the item. Um, that's good to know for the future. But now we have a gold cast, and we can actually um, go ahead and put... And it looks like we did get a few extra nuggets there you can see at the bottom. Um, so every time you melt a raw item i believe it's going to give you three extra nuggets so you always want to use uh three at a time unfortunately though i've only found two pieces of gold so far 
Um, but yeah, that should actually tide us over for now. So what I want to do now is actually get a hammerhead here. I think we want to go with the hammerhead. If you want to check what a certain type of uh, material does for a tool, you can actually go ahead and open up the uh, materials in U book. And I might honestly just craft the head and the axe head and broad blade just for the uh, advancement here. So what we can do is grab the head out of there and go ahead and cast the gold around it. That should actually produce, maybe we need a little bit more in there. Oh yeah, I had an extra ingot out here. When we have enough gold in the smeltery, there we go. So I'm actually going to try to place the bronze block in here. Now, I'm not sure if that'll actually go because we have a few extra nuggets in there. I might go and try to find some more gold first. All right, so next I will go ahead and get the bronze axe head uh, piece ready. Um, I think it takes 10. We do have some more cobblestone here. Yep, there we go. And we can go ahead and put that there. And because we got a third uh, gold ingot, we actually do get enough to um, craft the last one that we need, which I believe is the broad blade. And my inventory is completely full right now, but there we go. So all we should need now is a little bit more bronze. And I am actually going to uh, put that in there. And maybe, can we craft this back into ingots? Yes, we can. Perfect. So that'll make uh, three more. And I forgot this thing does actually have a 12 ingot capacity, so I probably could have put that whole uh, block in there. So we should just press that, and hopefully that'll fill all the way up. And it does. Nice. It does take a little while to actually cool down, but... Here we go. Oh, and it looks like we only need one of these in order to actually complete it. So that's actually really good to know. So what I want to do now, now that we don't have to craft all three of those, is actually go ahead and replace the head on our sledgehammer. So that'll make it a bronze stone sledgehammer. And I might actually... I might go for wood for the rest of it instead of stone. I do believe that wood is a little bit better for that. And it looks like birch wood gives a pretty white looking handle. So I think that's pretty cool. I think I will, I will wait to do that. I'm going to go ahead and replace that. And now we can replace that. So that's a pretty cool looking hammer now. But one more thing that we can actually do is go ahead and place redstone on it. And redstone will actually give it haste, basically increasing the mining speed by a very, very large amount. So you could kind of see what we did earlier, but now, oh yeah, that's, that's so much faster. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the new hammer here for a spin. I'm going to be looking for tin because that's the current metal that we're running low on by a lot. I'm here at Y40. Um, it does say in the menu here that it can be found at uh, 25 to 80. So, you know, maybe just cutting that in half and going for 40 will work. Who knows? Alright, so I just completed a fairly lengthy mining session here, and I'm kind of curious to see how much materials I got. Ooh, we ended up with a ton of copper. Not very much tin though, surprisingly, but that's alright. Um, definitely a lot of cobblestone, and yeah, we did go through the sledgehammer completely. Um, that was a really good first test for it though. So I think the last thing I want to do in this episode is to actually upgrade our gear to the Traveler's gear. 
We've had these cows back here for quite a while now, so I think it's time to uh, say goodbye for, for a few of them at least. And we can also go ahead and smelt up rotten flesh into leather as well. I don't know exactly how much we need for this. Um, I probably should have looked. Here, I think it was in the first chapter. Um, right here. Okay, um, it looks like we're going to need 16 leather in total. So, yep, that's exactly how much we have now. Alright, so we can go ahead and craft up the boots, the pants, the vest, and finally the goggles. And, uh, yeah, that. Now that is an outfit. I do believe it's technically a downgrade from our previous armor, but what we can actually do is modify it similar to how we've been modifying our tools. So I believe we can add like feather falling, um, additional armor, that sort of thing. So yeah, it's definitely uh, useful to get this gear instead of just the basic uh, copper armor. But unfortunately guys, that's all the time we're going to have for today's episode. In the next one, I think I want to do some more exploration. We really haven't left this starter area in a while, and apparently there's some pretty cool structures uh, located throughout the world uh, that we just have not discovered yet, and I think it might be good to uh, go and try to find them, and they should give us a good bit of gear. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.